I'm Zach Holman. I've been an investigative photojournalist since 2009. Join us on our quest to search out the top stories while the city sleeps. Everything you're about to see is absolutely real. Some of it may be disturbing to watch, so viewer discretion is advised. Showing. Oh shit. Hey, four six seven, it's gonna be a church. Yo, that's fucking nuts. I think there's a uh, graveyard like right there. It's really creepy actually. I mean even even the fact that it's at a church, even if it's just a small fire, that's still really interesting. I don't know why people attack um, religious institutions. Like we get fires at temples, synagogues, churches. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's, it's like about as shitty as it can get when it comes. If, if it is arson, obviously, again, just speculating. We got to find out what the cause was, but nine times out of 10, it's arson. Which is really, really sad. 45's code six. Um, oh, perfect. Haha. We've got a parking spot. Nice. Yeah, we got good smoke. Good smoke. Alrighty. like anything's going on uh, inside but I do see something smoldering see the little like there's like a kind of a cut out there where that second firefighter is standing right now where, where the guy's walking out there's like a cut out and there's something smoldering there so I don't know I don't know what it is Oh, it's like little burn marks on there. Little smoke. Yeah, but it's a church. Huh? It's a church. They have to pull out the ATF and FBI. As far as that. Which one? Which one? The one in the middle of the street, the explorer. Hi, I'm the Anthony. Nice to meet you, Anthony. Anthony from Monsignor. Hey, you're the charger, right? I am. Hey, we saw you earlier. It was a really nice car. Oh. Oh wait, you blew by us. That's right. At uh, getting on the 10 the westbound, the rollover. We heard like, rawr, and I'm oh, like, no. and we're there with LAPD, and I'm like, I know that guy. So, yeah, so if this is like, if this is arson, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a decent story. If it's not, then... It's a waste of time. You know, it's weird when I rolled it, I saw like the smoke haze coming out the top. We smelled it, uh, I think like two blocks away, three blocks away. So yeah, it was definitely, uh, whatever it was, was cooking for sure. All right, Chief's, Chief's trying to walk back over. He's thinking about it. So the Chiefs are with the uh, white helmets, okay? But it's hard, it's hard to tell with all the red and, and uh, with all the red lights, because they, uh... I notice Chiefs usually have the corners back. Yes. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. Howdy. Hey, Chief. Good. Good to see you, sir. 
Because this, uh, this isn't arson by any chance, is it? No. Was no, it just an accident, or? Yeah, it looks like uh, discarded smoking material, that's it. Yeah. Okay, cool, no we're out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. Okay, so yeah, if it was, uh, if it was... The captain goes, yeah, somebody threw a cigarette. It's not arson, it's just discarded burning material right there on the left side. I, I don't even know if I want to feed this. I was it's... like, are you guys calling out arson or anything? And they're like... No. He's that's... like, I literally found a cigarette in Yeah, the chief was like, no, it's bullshit, so I'm, I'm not going to feed it. All right. See ya. All righty. Yeah, mine is a uh, car versus homeless encampment, at least four uh, DOA. Oh, that's his. Oh, copy. You have four DOA? Holy crap. That's what they were talking about. Uh, uh, it's uh, the email that LA uh, 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 casualties, so. <laughs> Oh man, Keith. You're gonna remain at scene though, correct? Okay, copy that. Um, we'll stay tonight. I want to come by and check that out, but um, I'll I'll stay here. Actually, uh, four six seven. If you want to roll over there and maybe get some experience shooting that type of scene, that might be a good thing for you. Copy. Oh, what a fucking mess, man. And we, it's funny because we were just talking about that with that in, that whole encampment thing downtown under the freeway. Like where that encampment is. Um, uh, let's get ahead of this guy. Where that encampment is under the tent. Um, there could be a fire down there. There could be a car crash, you know, that comes off the freeway. Like I had, I had that tanker truck, or not tanker truck, but I had a big rig come off the 10. Uh, <laughs> there's an arsonist. 26 has an arsonist walking down the street lighting trash cans. So yeah, a car could go in there, uh, come off the freeway, tanker truck, you never know. And, and there's, he said there's 50 people living down there. That means there's 50 people that could be exposed to that and could actually, uh, could actually have an issue. You know, let's check, let's check that out. We're like right here. That's at Western? Yeah, let's go to that. There's an arsonist walking down the street Lighting fires. Yeah, 26. So, engine 26 has an arsonist literally walking toward us right now, lighting trash cans on fire, and they're asking for the cops to come up. So, let's see if we can get that arrest on tape. That'll actually be kind of interesting. Let's see if we can get, if we can grab that. Yeah, arsons are up. I think our murders are up like crazy right now. Um, I forgot what the percentage is, but we're at some astronomical number for the year so far. Actually, I can probably Google it, right? Three minutes, uh, So we have 51 for the year so far. This is a 32%. Sorry, there was 32 at this time last year and we're at 51. So it's, it's not good. It's not good. 26 is right in front of us and they're, look, it's on fire right now. See that? He's lighting all of these. Uh, this is like nuts. So they just put one out right there and there's another one on the next uh, street. God, look at that, the trash can's like melted. Yeah, they're putting that one out. Yeah, I'm not seeing this guy. Uh, FD is like chasing a dude down Western. Um, yeah, they're chasing a dude down Western who just keeps lighting trash cans on fire. But I don't, 
Uh, Western, just north of the 10. Um, we're here at, uh, it's like Western in Venice, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing the guy. Must have gone this way. They just reported another one. PD just reported another uh, fire. Twenty eight fifty three. Four six seven three. The is on fire. Watch a trash can. They said they're on on. Five three kilos. It looks like a pile of trash. You know, on the south sidewalk. I'm oh, sorry, north sidewalk. Yeah, what was the location? Oh my god, they're gonna send it out again. That's fine on the north sidewalk. Yeah, but where? <laughs> we just saw them here, so they can't they can't have gone too far. I don't see them, do you? Yeah, it's probably south. Yeah, the guy I don't think the guy would have made it this far. And he was he was traveling southbound, they said, so. Oh man. I mean, it's just trash cans right now, but if he keeps going and they keep, like, not catching him, then he might think, you know what, I'm going to light a building or a car. So, let's see. Uh, I don't know where that rubbish is that he was reporting, though, because that location's going to be our direction of travel for our little firebug asshole. And there's no description yet, either, so I'm not sure. Oh, there, okay. They're looking. There we go. Yes, communicate, please. <laughs> please talk to each other. <sighs> Fucking stupid. Okay, so there's... Okay, so that was on fire. A little rubbish pile was on fire. Is this the guy? Is this the guy right here? No, that guy had black hoodie and shorts, so if we get a suspect description, we'll know. Oh, that might be the guy. Hang on, that might be the guy. That's, uh, I want to get confirmation that that's the guy. I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna feed this in if it's not him. I don't want to put like an innocent person on blast on, on uh, national television. But um, if, if I get confirmation that that's the guy, then he's, he's going in. We'll send it in. Uh, it's the one on San Vicente. Oh. Okay. Yeah, San Vicente. It's uh, West Traffic had the call. Yeah. I think West LA is handling. Um, but it was. Uh, they said the vehicle rolled into a homeless encampment with four DOA. Oh. Okay. And then they. Did, my guy just called me. He's there. He said they're all critical, but they're not DOA. So. Oh. Yeah, kind of. Wow. FD. Uh, you know. <laughs> Car rolled into the there, It's right where it's like on the left. I think it's actually. It says it's on San Vicente, but it's right at the 405 near Wilshire. And if you're looking, if you're looking at the map like this. It's where it kind of goes down and turns. It's that first left-hand turn if you're going westbound. So yeah, the guy flipped it and yeah. We've had a lot of homeless encampment uh, fires and stuff. And like- Yeah, they've been happening a lot lately. Yeah, I wonder why.
Good catch, guys. All right, we're out of here. Um, just so you know, the fires were mostly on Western. I think there was one here, um, but they're gonna be like, at that intersection, you got like two, and it's on the south side, you can't really tell, but there's one smoldering, so it's kind of obvious. Yeah, all right. So, all right, brother, take care. You too. All right. Did you damage any of the power stations or no? Oh, I see. He like lit the. Oh, he lit the hoses. On. What an asshole. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, there's the trash can at the corner over there, and then there's another one across the street. So. There's two little small ones. Trash fires throughout the neighborhood, and then the gotcha. one that was over there. How many approximately would you estimate? Uh, well, these between two, yeah, between these and the trash cans. So it's three, five, three trash cans plus the the one on trash Eagle. fires in the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, so six or seven uh, total. Five, two, five or six. three, three, and then including this, six. Okay. I'll just say six then. Yeah, if we got an arsonist off the street, that's the story. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Thank you. Cool. I dig it. I dig it. It's not a huge story, but it's, uh, I mean, it's interesting because we have had so many arson calls. Like, this is, you actually get to see the guy that's doing it, which is, to me, is really interesting. So, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's interesting. 4D5 is going to be back to clear from the, uh, I guess we'll call it the uh, arson, what's the lake? Chris, sorry, Koreatown arsonist. Yeah, that works for me. This guy fucking is leaving? Hi ma'am, I'm here at uh, Flower and 7th. You've got a possible DUI driver asleep at the wheel on Flower uh, at the intersection on 7th. Looks like a male Middle Eastern possibly. Uh, he might have crashed somewhere else, but not here, but there's definitely, there's like fresh TC damage on the front right. I, again, I, if it's a diabetic thing, then possibly, but it's, it's probably a DUI. No, no, I understand. I don't, I don't think we need the LAFD right now, but if you, yeah, if you can give me a unit, um, he's like sitting at the intersection, the car's in drive. I'm afraid he's gonna roll, you know, into the intersection, hit somebody. Yeah, I'll, I'll stand by, I'll stand by. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty concerned about this guy. Okay, sounds good. I'll be standing by. Thank you. Bye. This guy's drunk. He might have hit. Uh, he might have hit somebody also, because you can see, you can see there's damage to the side of the car. I don't want to walk in front of the car in case he takes off, but we'll stand by for. Uh, we'll stand by for uh, PD. He's like sitting on the brakes. Like his foot, I mean, it's like you can see the brake lights, like his, his foot is actually on the brake holding the car there right now, because it's in drive. So even if, his, even if his foot like relaxes and he comes off of it, like, that's it. Hey, we're code six at Flower and 7th. We just generated a call. We got a drunk guy like in the street in his car with it running, fresh TC damage too. He's in the car, like passed out, and he's like fucked up. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Okay. So well, I don't know if the call. Yeah, I'm standing by right now. I'm waiting for a unit. Did the call go out? Oh, it's it's coming out right now. <laughs> yep, that's it. Okay. Hey, bro. I don't want to spook him because if he's drunk and he takes off and kills somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't. Don't fucking spook him. He already hit something already. Um, 
Let me, I'm grabbing my uh, taser real quick in case I got some homeless guy out here trying to get involved. So we'll hang out for a minute. Um, I'm just worried he's gonna wake up, hit the gas, and take off into a parked car, or worst case, drive somewhere else and crash and kill somebody. You guys know how long he's been there for? No, we just saw him right now. I already called it in, but it's code two, and there's all the units are busy. We had a uh, shooting down the street, so. Well, it's probably him. <laughs> I just don't want to spook him and have him take off because he's got damage on the right side. He's already hit somebody, so. Are you drunk? No, no, he's drunk, dude. He's yeah, drunk, he's, right? he's drunk, but he's sitting on the brake. So if he wakes up, like, that's it, off he yeah. goes. So. I called the cops earlier, you know, when I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, I called it too, but they, you know. <laughs> it's LA, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. That's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, I was just, I was worried that he was going to take off because I rolled up and I honked at him with the air horn and that didn't wake him up, and I'm like, Okay, this guy is... Yeah, should have at least someone just go ahead and park in front of him. I was going to do it, but I'm not fucking yeah. up my new car. Yeah. <laughs> they will once uh, once they come out. What's that? I'm a crime scene photographer. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're not... No guns. I'm not going to... Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not going to drag them out. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know if we're ever going to get a unit. We're just going to live out here. Just hang out with everybody in downtown. Hey guys, I talked to the guys over here. They said he's been passed out before we got here, but I mean, I don't think it's a medical thing. That's why I didn't request FD. I think he's just, I think he's just DUI. They didn't come. The fire department. No, they didn't. They called us. Oh, they didn't. Yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, I didn't request it. Maybe the other guys did. So, I don't know. Single male driver. <laughs> I'm just worried he's gonna take off. Well, you're getting this, so you're getting it. I was gonna get my camera, but. Hey, put your car in park and turn it off. So yeah, my, you know, I, I try not to get involved on stuff because I don't think it's really our job. Um, but there is there is a line when you get to a point where you're like, okay, this guy, he let's say he's like completely trashed, right? Like super super trashed. And we see this all the time, where you've got somebody who's uh, who's DUI, and uh, you get somebody who's DUI, and they end up uh, they end up doing that coming off the brakes and they fly through an intersection and they end up killing somebody and for me you know it doesn't it doesn't take a lot to get uh, PD out there and if he's not listen if he's not drunk cool he's not drunk they cut him loose he goes home everything's cool but um, if he is and he's driving around falling asleep in intersections I mean you can you can kill somebody and we see it day in and day out that's one thing I have no tolerance for is drunk driving so, drunk driving is no bueno in my book. If you drink, take an Uber, find friends, call a cab if they still exist. Um, you have so many options now, there's really no excuse for it. And uh, listen, I don't mind drinking. I mean, Friday night, I wanna sit back, watch a movie, and have a couple drinks, that's my prerogative. But you won't catch me getting in a car, cruising around the city, and falling asleep at uh, Flower and Seven, so. That's my uh, that's my opinion on it, and uh, yeah, the guy showed up quick. They uh, rolled the unit out, and 
the guy is off the street. Which again, if they test him and he's cool, then he's cool. They cut him loose. So no harm, no foul at that point. That sounds healthy. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Code 2 Zero Weekly. Check back in again next week, same time, same place, right here on YouTube. If you made it this far in the video, you're probably a subscriber. I just want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel. You guys make it possible. Again, if you want to follow us, we're on all major social media platforms. We appreciate all the support. Thank you, guys.